Hello, everyone. Um, I've been a uh, long time Tiamat uh, Razer Mat 7.1 user. I already did a review on these like about a year plus ago. I was one of the first ones to do a review for uh, YouTube on these headphones. Um, I ha so I have nothing bad to say about them. I love them. They are basically a movie theater wrapped around your head. <laughs> Uh, so, so yeah, so check out my other review on these suckers. I just want to compare them to the uh, Sony's uh, DR GA500. I picked these up on Am on Amazon. I thought it was yeah Amazon for fifty dollars. Although they came out in late two thousand and eleven, and at the time the uh, retail price was one ninety nine, two hundred dollars. So I got them basically for seventy five percent off. Uh, about a month ago, March, late March, 2013, I bought these for my stepson, but I also had to pick up an extra pair for my uh, nephew, you know, who's been getting amazing grades in school, so I, you know, bought them as a gift for him. But um, these guys right here sound way better than those. Obviously, the price is basically around the same, but these guys have ten drivers five on each side, left and right, and uh, the uh, virtual, how should I say this, the surround sound reproduction is amazing, you literally feel like you have speakers all over your head, which you do, but I mean in a full 360 around your, your skull, uh, these guys do a decent job, they're also analog 7.1, not digital, uh, you, you have a bunch of cables to plug, as you can see in the diagram here, you know, for your rear, your front, your side, your subwoofer, and so on. But, um, in contrast, uh, these guys right here do an amazing job. Even better than those. Uh, the, the boom here is much higher, uh, or deeper, should I say. So, the bass is much deeper and everything. But I like the clarity and the mid-tones on these guys better. Uh, the bass is a little clamped and also the highs, but these guys are, I don't know, overall just better. The microphone on this one is, uh, on the Sony's, are better than the ones on the, on the Tiamat 7.1. So, if you had the money, I would say go with the Tiamat, but if you can't afford $200 for that set, go with these. Don't buy those stupid, uh, fake, you know, stereo, wannabe 7.1, Dolby Digital headphones that you see laying around. You know, your Turtle Beaches and the others, including those uh, Astros. They're also fake 7.1. They're not real. They're Dolby Digital. Basically, you're taking a left and right signal and you're multiplying it, you know, like that all across your head. So they're fake. I prefer these analog 7.1 headphones instead. So this is one class and then you have the other. So either of these will do the job. I recommend a sound card. Uh, it will basically, you know, make your money's worth. So you need a sound card. Any sound card will do. Just don't use the uh, onboard motherboard audio, audio jacks. Uh, so as you can see, here's my rig. Uh, turn it on. So I have them connected right now. I love that receiver. You can, you know basically tweak all the drivers and the volume and all that independently from one another uh, so yeah they're beautiful I love them can't complain these guys too the build quality is really good they're very 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 light almost 15% lighter than the Razer ones but you know I have nothing to complain you know for the price for $50 come on you can't really ask for more so yeah, so go for these guys if you can, but if you can't, go for these. Uh, I still prefer to use a separate microphone. This is the uh, Blue Yeti from Blue Mics as a uh, microphone source. So it's so much better than any microphone on any headphones. So, so anyways, this is a quick video just to showcase the difference, in my opinion, between the two headphones. So. These guys are the winner. These guys are also the winner. But if you can afford these, go with those. And those guys are not that bad. So, later.